If it's not blatantly clear by the fact that I have a whole YouTube channel dedicated to this basketball team, I love my Knicks. And one thing that I love just as much as I love this my Knicks is this fan base. We have probably the best fan base in the NBA. I'm sure other fan bases will disagree, but I strongly believe that we have one of the best fan bases in the NBA. And because of things like uh, Papa Left dropping this track right now that is on fire and spits bars for every single player on this this team all the way from Theo Pinson to yes Alfred Payton even though his ball was a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of shame it came in on the proof of deal journeyman style Knicks putting in work like Alfred's burner account the track is more than just an anthem for the team but it's an anthem for the culture that's being built around this team from the fan base all the way up to the team everyone is in synergy right now with the excitement and the hype that is going around this basketball team right now. And for Papa Left to drop this, this, this track that I'm gonna need you guys to go listen to, it, it's just perfectly timed. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna drop a link in the description below, Papa Left's Nick Set Freestyle, which is basically just him going off, dropping bars for everybody on this team. He has uh, amazing sound bites from CP, amazing sound bites from Jay Book. Like, it, it is a well put together track. You guys need to go check it out and go show Papa Left some love. It's so well put together, so well timed, but go check it out, links in the description below. But the Knicks win last night against the Chicago Bulls. You no know Zach Levine, you know, it is what it is. We still allowed uh, Vucevic to go out there and, and take care of business the way he does, but the Knicks ultimately win that game. We could talk about it this, that, and the third, but we talked about it a lot last night. What I wanna focus on are the games that we have coming up. Six games on the road in the Western Conference, and some of them are against some of the top teams in the league. Matter of fact, four out of the six games are against the top teams in the league. How do the Knicks come out of this? Why am I in this formation right here? There's nothing over there, but I'm pointing as if there's something over there. How do I think we come out of this road trip? Let's talk about it. Run the intro. What's going on, CK Crew? It's your boy CK2K, and welcome back to another video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Do not forget to like this video, and it's very important that you heed those words. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell, because I've been dropping videos, but I'm getting DMs and I'm getting comments and people talking about, yo, CK, when's your next video gonna come out? I'm like, yo, my video, I dropped yesterday. I dropped a video yesterday, I had a live stream, and now I got another video for you guys today. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when these videos are going up. Or you can jo go join the Discord where we have a, a pre-built notification system in the Discord. So every time a video, a live stream goes up, whether the, no matter what channel it is, you will know on the Discord. So go join the Discord. Link is in the description there below. And shout out to everybody who is still continuing to rock with your boy CK, 2K, all the love, CK crew. We go hard and I appreciate Appreciate you guys but like I mentioned in the intro the Knicks have a tough road trip ahead of them and the first two are games that I feel like are very winnable against the Houston Rockets and the Memphis Grizzlies but then after that we got the Denver Nuggets the Phoenix Suns and both LA teams in the Clippers and the Lakers and I want to break down how I feel like we can come out of every single one of these games starting with the Rockets on Sunday. Now we all know the story of the Houston Rockets this season. They're not the Houston Rockets of old with James Harden and everything that they had going on and Mike D'Antoni and systems that were looking like they were competing to possibly go and make a championship run almost every single year, but always falling flat in the playoffs. This team this year is very different. You know, they're being led by John Wall. They're being led by Christian Wood and John Wall is not gonna be in this game right now. And shoot, they've already pretty much mailed in the season, but at the same time, they're going out there and they're trying to steal some of these games against teams like us that they know that they can potentially ruin or hurt their playoff chances in the long run to say that i think that this is going to be a cakewalk is completely ignorant of me because i don't think it's going to be a cakewalk i think this is going to be a game that's going to be a little rough for us i think that you know we need to go out there and we need to be aggressive like we started in the Chicago and in the Phoenix game. We need to go out there and make sure we handle business. For this entire road trip, I think that's what my whole sermon is for the Knicks team. This is going to be the telltale sign. This is going to be where we learn about this New York New York Knicks team in the long run because we're playing against tough com a tough opponents on the road now. We played a lot of good Western Conference teams at home in our home stretch, in our home stand, as well as playing some of the better Eastern Conference teams. Matter of fact, teams that are right next to us in the playoff hunt um, at home in that during that winning streak. But right now, it's about winning these games away because in the playoffs, just because we may get home uh, court advantage with the fourth seed, we do have to play some games away and we have to make sure that we seal the deal with those away. 
away games. Our home record is 22 and 11 right now, but our away record is only 13 and 17, which is not terrible, but at the same time, it has shown that we are way better when it comes to playing at home, and that's great, taking advantage of Madison Square Garden the way that we should be, but we need to make sure that we bump up our away record. A lot of these teams, the teams that are ahead of us in the Eastern and the Western Conference, a lot of them handle their business away from home as well. Not all of them, but some of them do. So sorry, the Houston Rockets, we have to make sure that we go out there and we, from the jump, make sure we go out there and take that W. The next up, we have the Memphis Grizzlies, and the Memphis Grizzlies is not going to be a cakewalk either because, look, man, I understand this is definitely a winnable game. Matter of fact, if you ask me personally, all these games are winnable games, but each of them have their different type of energy. We just finished beating the Memphis Grizzlies in a pretty solid fashion, and now we're in their home. They have Jaren Jackson back. They're they're starting to become healthy, and they, they are on their own try, kind of run right now to try and get in the play-in tournament that they're going to want this game just as much as we are. And this is coming off of a back to back so it's going to be tough but i definitely believe this is something that's winnable i think that the knicks can outgrind the grizzlies who definitely are a team that give us fits every time we play them so to go out there and play against this memphis grizzlies team in memphis is definitely something that's going to be a, a, a struggle but ultimately i think the knicks come out win this one and we go 2-0 to start off the road trip now here's where it gets dicey okay on wednesday night knicks here on the channel for those who do not know we do wednesday night knicks where we live stream uh, our reaction during the game Wednesday night Knicks, Knicks versus Nuggets. And right now the Wednesday night Knicks record is four and five. So we need this win so we can go to 500. <laughs> But this is going to be a tough one, man. The Nuggets have been playing really well, but I don't think that they're unbeatable. I think that the Nuggets could possibly be that third team that we beat. Especially since the injury of Jamal Murray, the Nuggets have shown that they are still the Nuggets of old because Nikola Jokic is still on that team wearing a Nuggets jersey. But at the same time, they've had some games where they would make them way too close for comfort or that they would blow. Like I'm looking at the game against the Blazers. That game was close throughout the entire thing. They ultimately win that game by one. They were seeing their game against the the Warriors who the Warriors have been playing they've been very up and down this year they've been a you know run the mill team this year a play-in tournament team and the Warriors go out there and blow them out they even had a, a little bit of a hard time with the Rockets until they finally made that nice push in the second half and even last night against squaring up against New Orleans Pelicans where it looked like the the Nuggets should have had this game in the bag but the Pelicans just continue to fight and I feel like we have that same kind of identity even to a better degree than the Pelicans where we can continue to fight through this entire game so to be completely honest with you guys i definitely see this as a winnable game it will not be easy but it's definitely going to be a winnable game the question comes up to be how is noel going to do against nikola Jokic? obviously nikola Jokic, Jokic probably won't be doing too much in the paint but he doesn't need to do much in the paint this dude is a point guard and a seven footer's body so how does Nerlens noel match up against him i think that's the biggest key to this game and as well as Michael Porter Jr. Michael Porter Jr., who's going to be the one that's going to be guarding him? Is it going to be Julius Randle? Are we going to put RJ on him? I think RJ is probably our best bet, or maybe even Reggie Bullock. I don't know, but with this size, Michael Porter Jr. has been on a tear of games right now where he's showing that I can score on anybody in this league. So those are the two keys I'm looking at in this game. And the others, of course, are a factor on this game. Aaron Gordon's been good for them. We can go down the list. Austin Rivers is probably going to have a revenge game against us because he's been playing solid for the Nuggets. But for the most part, if we're able to contain those two uh, got players in uh, Nikola Jokic and Michael Porter Jr., who's to say what's gonna what, what we can do in this game? Our defense is going to be very key in this game, and I really think that this is one that we can possibly run away with. I think this could be the, uh, our third win in this trip. Again, that's just my opinion. I want to hear what you guys think about every single matchup. Moving on to the next one. Now, here's where it gets tough. We got Phoenix Suns yet again, this time at, at, at home, and then we got the two LA games. And to be completely honest with you, I think that in these next three games, I think that they are very, very winnable. I don't think any of these games in any way, shape, or form are games that, or I don't think that these are going to be games that we're going to get washed in. I know the Suns are who the Suns are. I know the Clippers are the Clippers and the Lakers are the Lakers. The problem is right now, with the, starting with the Phoenix Suns, we competed with them not too long ago i understand that's at home the knicks should be hungry going into this game they just got smacked in the mouth at their house after having a, tr a tremendous start and then watching cp3 and devin booker just close out but it's also a very high potential that the phoenix suns do the exact same thing that the knicks are going to do they understand how they started the game last time and they understand how they didn't play that well up until the second half and because the knicks weren't able to close out the deal that they were uh, luckily able to steal the game from us that the phoenix suns are probably going to go into this game thinking the same 
thing and they're going to make sure that they're a lot better from the jump so this is one of those games to me that's going to be a toss-up and literally that's going to be my answer for the rest of these games in this road trip i feel a lot more confident about the first three i know that never nuggets are probably one of the better teams but for whatever for some reason there's a hunch i got that i feel like we, there's a possibility that we can win that game but i guess the denver nuggets another one's gonna be a toss-up but i just feel like we can win that game but i also feel like we can win this phoenix suns game and now the battle of la now to be real with you uh, it, it depends on what happens with the Clippers because right now we're seeing the Clippers resting Kawhi Leonard. I know Kawhi Leonard has his injury right now, but at the same time, they're extending his rest and letting, you know, Paul George and the others do what they got to do. Now, I think it depends on how Ty Lue sees the Knicks. Will Ty Lue go out there and compete against the New York Knicks in a matinee game? Or is he going to rest his guy and just hope that, you know, the second unit can do what they got to do? Because let's be real, by that point by that point for the Los Angeles Clippers, if they win a few games, they're going to be up there with the Phoenix Suns uh, uh, fighting for that second, maybe even first seed so they can go all out and play all their players to make sure that they get a better seed or they can just be comfortable and make sure that their guys are rested up right before the playoffs come. So I feel like this one could be a toss up for us. So depending on what the rotation, what the lineup looks like for the Clippers, I think that that raises our possibilities. But I'm not saying if they don't have their play, if they have all their players, we're going to lose. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that our possibilities go up higher when guys like Kawhi Leonard, Paul George are not playing. But we'll see what happens with that. But let's pretend that everybody plays. I think that this game is going to be one that is going to be a great test for us. This is uh, one of the better teams in Western Conference, a defensive team, a high veteran led team. That's going to be a lot of fun for us to play against. But I really feel like our style is a style that can play against them and that can play against them well. It's a matinee game, and also, I'm going to be in attendance. But I definitely think this is another one. I think all these games are winnable games. And the moral of this road trip is we can't go into this thinking that, oh, it's going to be tough, man. We could easily drop all these. No, we need to look at this as this New York Knicks team is for real. This is the real deal team, at least this season, that we can go into any of these cribs and we can go out there and steal the lunch money. <laughs> any of these teams. And that, that leaves me to say this about the Los Angeles Lakers. I don't believe King James will be back. Right now, even with just Anthony Davis running the show, they don't seem like they're, you know, in full power, full strength. Anthony Davis doesn't seem like he's back in the swing of things. He might be by May 11th. But as of right now, if they continue to play this way where they're very topsy-turvy, I have to sneeze. <coughs> ah, thank you. There is a possibility that we can go out and take this win. I feel confident about the fact that we might be able to go out and steal this win and sweep the Lakers for the season. I really think that's a possibility. I understand Anthony Davis is somebody that goes out there, but I, I, I feel confident in a toe-to-toe -to -toe, toe -to -toe matchup with Anthony Davis and Julius Randle. Call me crazy, but I feel confident in Julius Randle enough to go out there and compete toe-to-toe -to -toe with Anthony Davis. And then after that, then what? You know, maybe Andre Drummond might give us some fits because, I mean, he, he is aggressive. He's going to get those rebounds over uh, Noah's Noel, which is going to hurt us with the second uh, chance points and whatnot. But at the same time, other than uh, Anthony Davis, who's going to be the other one scoring? Kyle Kuzma? Like, I feel good about our chances against this Los Angeles Lakers team without LeBron James. LeBron James, to me, is that anchor that put or the glue that puts together everything that goes on with this squad. So without him there, I definitely feel like this is a winnable game. So all in all, with this six, I, I know I broke down everything. I didn't really, uh, outside of the first two games, I didn't really give specific, like, I think we'll win or I think we'll lose, we'll lose. To be real with you, I want to say I'm leaning more towards us going out of this road trip three and three or possibly four and two mark my words i think it's one of the two i don't see us going two and four in this one i, I think that we'll have a better a record coming out of this road trip than a lot of you guys may expect i think that we can go out there and we can solidify ourselves as the fourth overall seed and then come back home and play three very crucial games before we finally go into the first playoffs for the New York Knicks since 2013. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below what you think our record is going to be coming out of this road trip. Who do you think we'll beat? Who do you think we'll lose to and why? I want to hear everything you guys have to say in the comments below. But it's me, your boy, CK2K. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Do not forget to like this video. Like I said, link is in the description to Papa Left's freestyle, the Nick set freestyle that he dropped on, uh, over on SoundCloud. Go check it out. Go show him some love. Be it on Twitter, wherever the case may be. He's everywhere. Go check out Papa Left and show him some love and let him know that CK sent you. Shout out to Papa Left. Beautiful track. Join the Discord. You know what it is. Make sure you go and be a part of the Discord. Be a part of the conversation and get the notifications over there as well. We're doing a lot more Discord um, integrated stuff for the future of the channel. So go join the Discord. And yeah, it's me, boy CK. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Let's get it. I'm feeling good about this road trip. Enjoy the break. I have a fun video coming up next for you guys. I really think you guys are going to enjoy. So stay tuned for that. But I'm out of here. Dicks, baby.
Peace. Balls in the stool for the orange and blue. Put your arms in the roof. I need the guard in the move. From the court side spikes to the four engine heights. You feel the spirit of the mecca when they dark in the lights. This is Nick Set, Nick Set, Nick Set, Nick Set, right. Nick Set. Here we go. First off, we got coach of the year. Tom Thibodeau to make the ghost of Holtzman appear. Bring it back to when the garden was seeding. Clyde and Breed on MSG with the whole crowd calling for defense.